Hi, my name's Jo Hart and today I'm going to talk to you about cleaning your dog's ears. It's important to get into the habit of looking into your dog's ears so that you know what is normal for them. This is particularly important for dogs that have got floppy ears like this. So all dogs like your Springer Spaniels or anything with slightly floppy ears. Okay, now there's a couple of things you need to look out for um, that could indicate your dog has got an ear infection. Um, the, the main one, which actually you can tell quite obviously, is the smell. I know that sounds a bit gross, but if you actually have a good smell of your dog's ear, it shouldn't have a really bad odour to it. It, should smell, it shouldn't really smell of anything. So if it does, that's an indication there could be something going on. Um, when you look at the dog's ear, it should be nice and pink. If it's red, again, that could indicate there's something wrong. Or any blotchiness, that's something to look out for. Also, any kind of dirt or an excessive buildup of wax. Okay, so if, if you find yourself finding a lot of wax coming out of the ear, then that could mean there's something wrong. Also, if the dog is constantly scratching the ear, then usually that means there will be something wrong. Another thing you can always watch out, also watch out for, is the fur around your dog's ears, okay? If your dog has normally got fur which is quite mat free, and then all of a sudden they keep getting mats underneath one particular ear, that can sometimes indicate that they're actually scratching that ear and causing the mats to build up. So that's a good way of knowing there might be something going on. If you do think your dog has got an ear infection, you must take them to the vet because they'll be able to do things to help get rid of the infection. Quite often they'll need to be able to clean further down the ear canal than we're actually going to look at today. It's important that you use an ear cleaner which is designed specifically for cleaning their ears. It's just a general ear cleaner used to clean the wax from the outer part of the ear. This can be found either at your vets or online. If your dog isn't used to having their ears cleaned, then it's probably a good idea to just get them used to being handled around that area. So all you need to just do is just make sure that they're comfortable with, with you actually feeling around their ear and handling their ear. So make sure that if you've got a dog with long ears, that you actually open up the ear and just touch around. Good boy. And then praising when, when appropriate. Okay? Good boy, Riley. Good boy. Okay, so what you actually need for this is your ear cleaner and a bit of cotton wool, okay? All you need to do is just squirt the ear cleaner onto the cotton wool, okay? This ear cleaner actually comes out as a gel and then when it actually is applied to the skin, um, it, it goes a bit more like liquidy, but some ear cleaners will come out as a liquid. Good boy. Okay, so your ear cleaner is on the cotton wool. Just gonna gently open the ear and then just clean inside that ear. Now it's important when you do this, good boy, that you don't actually stick the cotton wool down the dog's ear. Just clean what you can see. You should never poke anything down inside your dog's ear. It's just literally cleaning the wax from all the areas that you can see. Again, when your dog is behaving, make sure you praise them. Good boy. Unless the vet has given you specific treatment, you shouldn't spray anything down inside the dog's ear, as this can actually do more harm than good and could actually cause an infection. Some dogs with ears that stick upright, for example, your German Shepherds, won't need their ears cleaned very often. They may never need their ears cleaned but it's still a good idea to have a look down their ears and get them used to being handled just in case there ever is a problem with them. Other breeds, for example, like this dog, which has got floppy ears and they're quite long, because of the way that the ear is, is designed, any bacteria that gets in that ear will become warm and that'll just encourage it to grow, okay? So that's when you get an infection. So with a breed like this, which has got ears which hang and are quite long, you need to make sure that you clean them, I would say, once a month, but more if your dog is swimming frequently. Again, this is something that um, depends very much on your individual dog. Mm -hmm.